Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate your comments and your concern asking me about where I've been. Uh, but I just have to tell you guys, look, I am a flaky middle-aged broad and sometimes I just kind of go off and do something. So have no fear, I'm still here. I am going to tell you about something that I did on my hiatus. I actually don't recommend you try this yourself, but I'll tell you what I did. I got rid of a couple of age spots or greatly reduced their appearance. So I don't know if you saw the before and after. I was quoted $150. Uh, by the dermatologist to um, to get rid of them and I might have had to go back again to lighten them even further if they weren't light enough so that would be more money but I got all of these ingredients here all of these things I needed to take off the age spots um, let me see I think it was probably about maybe sixteen dollars total so I had age spot right here I think that's the right spot right there and I have one on the side here this one is gone and this one is depending on the light I mean I mean I can really just barely see like a very faint um, image of that uh, age spot there but this one this is kind of common to get one on the side and I think it comes from people either sitting in the passenger side of a vehicle or the driver side of the vehicle and over many years I think it just you know some people just get a sunspot there or age spot again I don't recommend that you do this yourself because it, it does damage your skin initially and if you have any conditions like if you're diabetic you have bad circulation you've got bad veins um, you've got pigment issues. Uh, this might not be very good for your skin. I mean, you could you could damage it in general anyway. But I'm going to tell you what I did, and I will have links to the products that I used in the pinned comment below the video. You can see here under my eyes, the, you know, the thin layer of skin that people have under their eyes. I still have age spots there, and those will not come off without professional help from a dermatologist because uh, I did try it under there that thin area and the age spot actually just came back and I didn't damage it any further but the age spot came back but on the other areas it was successful I used compound W my, one of my best friends her mother about 15 years ago uh, told me about this and it was some, something I just remembered in passing and it doesn't seem to be something that a whole lot of people know about. Took the Compound W. And you open it, it smells like nail polish. Okay, it smells like nail polish. I took a very thin layer of it and I brushed it on my age spot. Brushed it on the age spot. What happens with the Compound W is it kind of burns off or... I don't know what it does it takes off that top layer of skin and you leave it on for an hour it's going to sting and burn and it's going to be white over that area that you put on your skin and after an hour I peeled it off and then I rinsed off that area just with a tiny bit of mild soap very mild soap and then I left it wet, okay? And then the next step was putting a little bit of aloe vera gel on it. A little bit of aloe vera gel, thin layer. And I put it on like I expanded it past the area that, had, um, that I had put the compound W on. I put it all past the area of the injured skin. And then what I did was I took a Band-Aid. I had band-aids of uh, different sizes. You're not going to need a band-aid with sides this big, but you're going to need something, depending on the size of your, um, of what you peeled off, you're going to need this whole area perhaps. I just cut the sides off here of the band-aid like this so that it's just a little bit there to stick on my face so I don't have all this extra sticky stuff on my face and then I just put it over the spot okay and that's just that's just the um, the initial treatment part so what's going to happen is after 
you put that on that aloe vera is going to work your I guess your your circulation your immune system whatever it is is going to um, is going to get to work and it's going to try to heal that over so I put the band-aid on I left it on for 24 hours or close to 24 hours just to the next day around the same time and then I take the band-aid off carefully clean the area off again very gently with mild soap and water put the aloe vera on again and then put a new band-aid on the spot and I did that every day I repeated that every day the band-aid the washing the band-aid with the aloe vera I repeated that every day for about six days and what I noticed is if you leave the wound moist and with it with the aloe vera gel I healed a lot faster than I would if it were dry that's what I did and in six days I had new skin and if you want to speed the healing uh, after like let's say two three days if you get um, a nice warm shower you know with the band-aid off with a nice warm shower not hot not hot because you don't want to you know burn that area it's going to help speed that healing like that circulation I guess from the water and after about I think five days this one came off right here about five days maybe six days and it was the same for this side here but let me tell you what what did not work I tried compound W after this after I did this one I tried it on right here right here this thin skin under the eye it basically when it healed over it took 11 days for that skin to come back because that's like thinner skin much more vulnerable skin it's just the age spot came back so I am not going to attempt that again it didn't do any more damage but didn't help and that's what I did guys and like I said it's not something I recommend to other people because it is something that a uh, a dermatologist should be doing to you rather than you to yourself but apparently um, the ingredient that they use is sometimes the same ingredient that's in uh, this compound W so that is what worked for me and I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that again anywhere else because I think nothing really is notice that much noticeable except for over here under my eyes and it's just not working. So anyway, so I was thinking about these age spots. Why do we get these age spots? Well, it, I guess it's, what is it, cellular damage? I don't know. I'm not a doctor so don't really take what I say to be the gospel truth because it's not. But uh, from my understanding, a lot of it is sun damage, your diet, stuff like that. If you, when you were younger, I don't care what they say, what you do to yourself when you're young shows up when you are older. It shows up when you're older. I had a terrible diet for about a year when I was about like 17 years old. And I know that I, you know, I, I lived on candy <laughs> and, and iced tea. And I was, I was wired. I was wired, everyone. And I know that, um, that, probably damaged my health in the future sure I recovered back then but it's you know you still you're you're wearing your system down whether you do it when you're young or you're older you just recover when you're younger much faster and maybe some of you you know had some other kinds of things go on in your life like maybe um, you had maybe you partied hard a couple of years you know had too much drink Maybe you puffed and snorted a little bit when you were younger, you know you shouldn't have. Maybe you had a couple of toxic relationships in your life and just all that stress, guys. I think it just kind of accumulates and it just shows up. It shows up one way or another. And um, all we can do is uh, try to fix our lives today, <laughs> just prevent any more <laughs> damage. Just um, keep going. And one thing I, I try to think to myself is forgive yourself for the person that you had to be when you were going through all these things. When, you know, you, you did things that weren't good for your health. Maybe you did it as a coping mechanism. Forgive yourself for the person that you had to be back then. 
when those things happened. Okay, there's there's things they say. You know, oh, you I always read these things about people. They say I have no regrets. I have no regrets. I mean, I don't know what kind of life these people live as they <laughs> have no regrets. I've got regrets. I've got regrets. There's things I wish I had not done. Okay. All right, guys. Anyway, I still might go in the future to try to take care of some age spots I can't remove myself, but I got to be honest, those are expensive. I can try to maybe um, just prevent more damage as I just spoke about. And hey, guys, you know, I'm married and I'm imperfect. My husband's imperfect. Everybody's imperfect. And age spots, sunspots are really really nothing to worry about in the end. It's just a cosmetic nuisance. So uh, I know people that are, have no problem with them. They're not all about their looks or anything. Me, uh, I, I'm a little more, I'm a little more shallow. <laughs> so um, all right guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you again soon. Go ahead and tell me in the comments um, what is your um, favorite tip for taking care of your own skin. All right. Take care, everyone. See you soon.